ఇంజనీరింగ్ స్టూడెంట్ ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ రమేష్ని డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ మరి లక్ష్మణ్ రెడ్డి ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ అండ్ యూనివర్సిటీ నౌ వీ ఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ ది ట్రాప్ ఎఫిషియాలిటీ విచ్ ఇస్ ఏ టాపిక్ ఇన్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అండ్ హైడ్రాలిక్స్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఇన్ ఇస్ వర్క్ సో వాట్ ఇస్ ద యూస్ ఆఫ్ ట్రాప్ ఎఫిషియాలిటీ ట్రాప్ ఎఫిషియాలిటీ ఇన్ వైర్ సో హౌ మచ్ లైఫ్ టైమ్ ద రెజర్ వైర్ విల్ వర్క్ ఫర్ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ ఆర్ ఫర్ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ సో ద రెజర్ వైర్ లైఫ్ టైమ్ ఇస్ డిపెండ్ ఆన్ దిస్ ట్రాప్ ఎఫిషియాలిటీ దట్స్ వై వి ఆర్ So, trap efficiency is defined as the percentage of sediment deposited in the reservoir even in spite of taking precautions and measures to control its deposition. So, the percent, how much percent of sediment is deposited in the reservoir that is called the trap efficiency. The formula for trap efficiency is equal to total sediment deposited in the reservoir by total sediment flowing in the river so how much sediment is deposited in the river and how much sediment is flowing out of the river nature so most of the river wires trap up to 90 to 100% of the sediment load flowing in them trap efficiency is a function of river wire capacity by inflow ratio so trap efficiency is also known as the function of river wire which is capacity by inflow ratio so trap efficiency is capacity next question how to calculate the capacity inflow ratio the ratio of the river wire capacity to the total inflow of water in it is known as the capacity inflow ratio so what is the capacity inflow ratio the ratio of the reservoir capacity to the limit is known as the capacity inflow ratio for example the capacity of the dam is 100 mpm and the daily inflow is 10 mpm then what is the capacity inflow ratio 100 by 10 that is 10 mpm is the capacity inflow ratio So, trap efficiency is equal to function of capacity by ratio. The trap obtained for the existing reservoir became trap efficiency and lack of capacity inflow is known as shown in below. So, to measure the trap efficiency, a larger single logger than a drop is used. So, in that, uh, x-axis is taken as the capacity inflow ratio, uh, that is the logger than a drop. as y axis normal side we are taking the trap efficiency that is how the wire always the graph is like a curve shape that is initially having steep slope after some time it will be steady so the steep slope represents that at the beginning after constructing the reservoir the initial year that means if a new reservoir is constructed after that some 10 years 20 years the sedimentation rate is very high after that the sedimentation rate will be standard for new dams the sedimentation rate is very high so from the graph it is observed that initially the sedimentation rate is very high so from the graph it is evident that if the capacity reduces the trap efficiency is reduced and lesser sediment is trapped if the capacity that means what is the meaning that initial high uh, later it is uh, low that means initially the capacity of the reservoir is high that means we designed for 100 tmc of water there is no sedimentation up to that time that place the trap efficiency is there after uh, some time after 20 years of the 30 years what will happen is sedimentation will occur the the bed of the reservoir is deposited most of it that the reservoir will decrease so from so like 100 to 50 mc the 50 mc so automatically the trap efficiency also decreases because trap efficiency is dependent on capacity initially capacity is high trap efficiency is high later capacity is reduced so silting rate in the reservoir is more in the beginning and its capacity reduces due to silting hence the silting rate is reduced the complete silting of reservoir may take a long time but initially it may be high but later it is very low rate so initially it will uh, close with 10 mcm of capacity in 5 to 10 years the same 10 
currently am closing later it will take 20 to 30 years so the uh, complete printing of reservoirs will take long time so that means initially uh, initial five years the printing is five times after that uh, so to achieve that the print take maximum 10 to 20 years so in that time the long time will take for complete printing of this reservoir a small reservoir having a small capacity on a large thing having large inflows having very small capacity inflow is a very small trap efficiency so small reservoir having small capacity on a large river that is river is very big but reservoir is small at that condition the trap efficiency is small in river if uh, in a small river a big reservoir then this in big river small reservoir the trap efficiency is less in small river big a big reservoir the trap efficiency is more okay next procedures for calculation of life of reservoir so the following steps are followed for calculation of life of reservoir first one after checking the reservoir capacity and knowing the inflow rate calculate the capacity inflow rate we calculated the dimension then automatically we have the capacity inflow rate next corresponding to this capacity inflow ratio obtain the trap efficiency automatically capacity by inflow will get trap efficiency away from the drop okay next divide the total capacity into suitable intervals that means if we get the 90 percent trap efficiency then the 90 percent into divided into some intervals like 90 cal for calculation purposes that means 90 80 70 60 up to 20 so initial percent we will take 20 compulsory so 90 percent achievement is there 90 80 70 60 60 uh, like that we have break the input capacity input. that means if we have compared a tmc capacity of the reservoir first we were that we have to calculate the trap efficiency initially we have taken from that 100 tmc 90 percent only we are taking that means 90 90 TMC of one, 90 TMC. Next, in 90 TMC again, 80 TMC, 70 TMC, up to 20 TMC. That means the reservoir capacity in how many years? The reservoir capacity will be reduced from 100 to 20 TMC. Due to this, initially it is 100 TMC capacity. So to reach 20 TMC capacity, how many years we will take? So to calculate that thing, we are taking the intervals of 10 percent. Assuming that 10 percent capacity has been reduced due to sediment deposit, 90 percent inflow ratio, 90 percent inflow ratio, and the corresponding trap efficiency. For this interval of 10% capacity, find the average trap efficiency. So, you need to divide it in every 10%. That means 100 TMC to 90 TMC, 90 TMC to 80 TMC. So, for each TMC, again, we are calculated the trap efficiency. Next, after calculating the trap efficiency, determine the annual sediment inflow rate by taking the sediment so after calculating the trap efficiency by using laboratory procedure determine determine the sediment inflow rate next multiply the total annual sediment transported with the trap efficiency so we have trap efficiency and sediment inflow rate multiply both the annual sediment and trap efficiency. Convert this sediment deposited into hectometer units deposited in one year. So after that, for each one year, how many hectometers of sediment is deposited is converted, TMC is converted into hectometer. Divide the volume interval 10% of capacity by the sediment deposited to get the number of years which is 
this volume in the well of self opening so by following the above procedure we get to the ear so first have to take 90 to 80 how many years it will take 80 to 70 how many years like that up to 20% how many years you will get it we are calculated by using a budget finally the total years are summarized years how many years will take to uh, reduce 20% to reduce the capacity that is, so repeat the uh, fun Each person we are calculate the time interval. The total life of reservoir will be equal to the total of the number of years required to fill each hole. This is the lifetime of the reservoir calculation.